The walk can be an incredibly simple, passive, somewhat passive I should say, elegant way of helping alleviate some of the symptoms in regard to post-traumatic stress disorder or any other fear or anxiety-based conditioning itself. Something as simple as inhaling the scent from an essential oil, or in this case, orange essential plant oil to be specific, had a dramatic effect in reducing the fear-based anxiety brought on by PTSD in animal models. Keep in mind, the full HTML in the study has not been released as full, so there's certain things I would like to see, like the type of carrier oil in regard to how long it took and other study parameters. In any case, it's extremely promising and deserves note. So let's get right into the study. The citation title, title as follows. Orange essential oil may help alleviate post-traumatic stress disorders. To quote the researchers, or quote the study, research to find evidence that essential oil reduces fear, and here's another interesting part too, diminishes immune system markers of stress, at least in mice. So you don't think about essential oils in the immune system itself, but in this case, they showed it actually did reduce the, uh, a lot of inflammation markers, as well as altered gene expression in the brain in a positive way. To proceed as follows, relative to pharmaceuticals, essential oils are much more economical and do not have adverse side effects. I'm just quoting the researchers. The orange essential oil plant, from this case I'll be known as OEPO, showed a significant effect on the behavioral response in our study of mice. This is promising because it shows that passively inhaling the essential oil could potentially assuage PTSD symptoms in humans. Again, the study is promising. It's an animal study. It needs to be validated in humans. But to proceed as follows into study parameters, the essential, no, I should say essential, the effects of essential oil on fear memory and the immune response, a potential alternative therapy for post-traumatic stress disorder. Printed in Experimental Biology is 2017. Funding, as you can see, study participants who stayed with animals. Approximate study length was about 48 hours. Dosage of materials. Mice were exposed to orange essential oil by passive inhalation just for 40 minutes. We were four and a zero. Before and after fear conditioning. The treatment group was administered 25%, as stated OEPO, orange essential plant oil. The olfactory exposure, meaning they smelt it. Source, as stated, was 25% of the orange essential plant oil. Again, I did not state the carrier oil in the full HTML. I hope they release that information. Results, 12 mice received a tone, the tone, a scary tone by itself. Remember, it's fear conditioning. 12 mice received water and fear conditioning, and 12 mice received an orange essential oil and fear conditioning. Mice exposed to orange essential oil by passive inhalation, smell, showed a significant reduction in freezing behavior and stopped freezing earlier than the water exposed fear conditioned mice. Now another side note to this, which I, again is fascinating. They also showed significant differences in the types of immune cells present after fear conditioning. The immune system contributes to the inflammation associated with chronic stress and fear, so immune cells are a marker of the biochemical pathways involved in PTSD. You usually don't think of those two being related, but in this case, and let's quote the researchers, they are. So to proceed, or I should say to conclude the research as follows, preliminary results point to differences in the gene expression. This is fascinating in the brain between the mice that were exposed to the essential oil and those that were not, hinting at a potential mechanism to explain the, behavior, the positive behavioral results. Said further studies, the caveat, uh, would be needed to understand the specific effects of orange essential oil in the brain and nervous system and shed light on how these effects may help, when carried out to human studies, help reduce fear and stress with people in people with PTSD. D. That's what it meant, an incredibly elegant, simple, and somewhat passive way of helping alleviate a lot of these PTSD symptoms just by doing something as simple as inhaling orange essential oil, in this case 25%. Again, further studies need to be done. If you decide to do anything on your own, please work with your medical practitioner just to play it safe. 
And this is Rob Church Channel signing off. I hope you find this information of use. Again, when I do the full HTML, I may come back and revisit the video again. This way we could go into more into the details. But for the basics, basic part of it, orange essential oil for PTSD or any other fear-based anxiety conditioning, it's extremely, extremely promising. Again, Rob Church Channel signing off. Hope you all have a good week, and I'll see you again in the next seven days. Catch you then. Bye.